In this video, we're going to take a look at two water filters from a company known as Sagan Life. We're going to take a look at the journey and the extreme. And we're going to talk about what sets them apart from other water filters. If you're interested, keep watching. All right, before we begin, I'd like to declare that these products were sent to me for testing and review, and I did not pay for them. I also want to declare I'm receiving no compensation for making this video. All right, so what I'd like to do is take you down to the tabletop. I'm going to show you the products as they were sent to me from, well, they were sent to me by Kelly Kettle, not Sagan Life, and I'll explain that in a moment. And then I'm going to go over the features of these devices and how they operate, but most importantly, what sets them apart from all the other water filters that are on the market. So as I mentioned in the introduction, these products were sent to me for testing and review, and they were sent to me by Kelly Kettle of USA, because Kelly Kettle is the distributor for Sag and Life products. So what I would like to do is just give you a quick overview of the two products, some specifications and how they work, but I'm going to save a, descript or a discussion on the filter until after, because it is the filter that is the heart of this system, and it is this filter that sets it aside from everything else out there on the market today. So let's start with the water bottle. The water bottle is known as the Journey. It is made of quite a heavy PVC, a BPA free polycarbonate material. It has a silicone base around it. It has a silicone grip area and there is some silicone around the cap as well. What I like about that silicone is that should I drop this on edge, it should prevent the cracking. It also provides grip around the middle. The cap itself is a spring-loaded cover on top and a fold out bite piece to draw the water. So that's nice, keeps any dirt or dust or anything else off of it. The volume of the water bottle is rated seven at 725 milliliters or 24 ounces. Now you will get some displacement with the filter and I'll, I'll talk about that in a moment. So let's say you start the day out using the water bottle full of tap water from home, but now you're empty and you want to refill and filter some, purify some water. Take the top off, pull the straw off of the cap, replace it with the filter, fill this up with water. Now I'd recommend leaving some space at the top for the displacement, drop it back on, and you are ready to go. So I did say that the filter displaces some water. So with the filter in, you will hold about, about 635 milliliters of water. So you lose a little bit of volume in, uh, when using the filter. Okay, so one other thing I wanna say about the water bottle before I move on to the extreme is that this has a universal top on it that will also fit on many other water bottles like the Nalgene. So if I was looking to use something of a larger volume like a Nalgene, this will fit on like a standard top. The only thing is, is that the bottle itself is a tiny bit shorter than the journey is. And as a result, if you're gonna use either the straw or the filter, you'll have to cut just a little bit off the top, probably somewhere around a half an inch, maybe a little less in order to get the thing in and get the top on. So it's just a nice option that you can use this lid and filter on a different water bottle if you so choose. All right, let's set that aside. Now I'm going to bring in the Xtreme and the Xtreme is actually two products in one. So like the Journey, the heart of the system is the filter, but in this case it comes with a universal attachment point that you can put the two accessory pieces on. So you get this length of hose and you get two systems. So the first system I'll show you is the hand pump. So the hand pump again with a universal attachment will Go on, and that'll give you four feet of hose and a hand pump so you can drop the filter into your, your uh, water source and use the hand pump to pour the water into another container. And I'll demonstrate that in use in the field in a few moments time. So that's one option that comes with the extreme. The other option is to take the pump off and use the alternative piece, which is a bite piece straw type of a, an arrangement. So, whoop, sorry. That has the mouthpiece on the end that allows you a one-way valve that allows you to draw water directly from the water source to drink 
And what's really cool about this is that you don't have to lay on the ground to use a straw or lay over some rocks to reach the water source. So you can do this from a kneeling or sitting position, drop the filter into the water and draw the water up. I found that this is really handy if you're in a, a canoe or a kayak and you want to have a drink of water, you can just throw this over the side and draw the water through the filter. It also has a cap and a one-way valve and lock to keep from uh, anything from, from getting dirty and from losing any uh, suction that you have in there as well. Okay, let's set this on. Now this product, if I mentioned, it comes in at 10.2 ounces or 290 grams. That's for all of these pieces together. And if I didn't mention, the Journey comes in at 10.1 ounces or 287 grams. And of course, I'm going to put these specifications in the video description below. All right, let's talk about the filter. So as I mentioned, the filter is the core of this system. It is the heart and it is what sets this aside from all other filters on the system. Now you would expect to have a filter that's going to, to filter out all of the microbiological parasites such as Giardia and Cryptosporidium. Better filters will filter out bacteria and E. coli and viruses and the best filters will filter out the chemicals and heavy metals such as pesticides or or any other thing else that you might find from an industrial area or an agricultural area. So yes, this filter will do all of those, as do some of the other more expensive filters on the market. But what makes this one different is that it is guaranteed to do it, and the others are not. And what I mean by that is that this filter has been tested to end-of-life certification. Now, what does that mean? So end-of-life certification means that these were sent off to an independent laboratory and, and water was drawn through them in every so many gallons to see how far it would get before it stopped filtering to its claims. And what they found is that these would very conservatively reach 250 gallons of filtration, taking out 99.9% .9 of all the bacterias, the viruses, the parasites, and chemicals, as mentioned a minute ago, before it started to not reach those limits. Again, this is the only one that is certified to do that. So if that's important to you, then this is something you may want to look at. Other filters claim to work for many, many more gallons of water than this one will, but the problem is, is you don't know if they are working to full capacity, if they're working to remove everything that they claim to remove, at, at what point do they start to fail? This is certified to work to 250 gallons before it starts working not as well as originally did. So it, it comes with a 100% money back guarantee. I expect that's probably against damage or necessarily maybe you don't like it for some reason. I don't know how you would know if it stopped working unless of course you got sick, but you know, likely you're going to replace it long before then. 250 gallons, I was thinking about that, that is still quite a lot of water. Most of us, myself included, I have no idea, honestly, how much water I've put through my other filters. Uh, some of them are five years old, and I'm thinking it's probably time to replace them. You know, I may not have reached the limit that they, they claim, but uh, that's just it. How do you know, unless you actually keep a notebook of running how much water you put through your filters? Two other things make this very unique compared to my other ones, and this one is guaranteed not to break, so the internal materials will not crack or fail if you drop this on the ground. So that's important because the other filters are, have a technology that can be somewhat fragile from damage. And the other thing is, is this one is not affected by freezing, and that's one of the concerns we have about our other filters is that, you know, if they freeze, there's a good chance you'll damage the internal operating parts of the filter, and it will no longer function properly. So this one is guaranteed against that. So uh, that's the, the story on this filter. The one thing I cannot find on their website is any maintenance information. So unlike the other filters, there is no requirement for back flushing or any other treatment to maintain its operating cycle. There is no requirement for pre-filter used with this. So the pre-filter is built right into it. So I find that kind of unique. It was a little unnerving the first time I used it because I wasn't sure how to care for it, but the more I looked at it, the more I realized uh, it doesn't need the care that a lot of other filters need. 
Okay, so that's a basic description of the two products as well as a bit of an in-depth in description of the filter itself. And I will, of course, leave all the information I've just mentioned in the video description below as well as links to the company and the research that they have to back up their claims. Let's get outside and do some demonstrations. Would you drink water out of that little puddle? It's actually a little bit of a stream, and I mean a very little trickle of a stream, that's flowing down this hill. Some of it going underground, but appearing back out. And this is the largest little pool that I could find in the stream, and this is what I'm going to draw some water out of it. What you don't know is what's going on upstream. As clear as some of that water appears, you know, it upstream, it could be a dead animal laying in it, or the feces of an animal, or a human, I suppose, in that case. It could be runoff from industrial areas, farm areas. It's hard to know what's upstream. Just because the water's clear doesn't mean it's safe to drink. But that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to set up my camera so that you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to draw water into my Sagan Journey water bottle and have a taste. So this is not an ideal source of water by any means. In fact, uh, if I had choice, and I do, but for the demonstration of this video, this is uh, still not on the bad side. I mean, it looks like it's relatively clear, but there's moss and all kinds of things growing in the water, plus some floating particulates. So, uh, you know, it's not something I would drink without filtering. I'm not even sure I'd drink it without this filter. Oh, reaching for a bandana here. So I'm going to lay my filter aside without getting it dirty. I'm using a bandana just to filter out some of the floaties, the particulate stuff that won't go into the filter, could clog it, but you just don't want it in the water. Let's see what we can get here. It's pretty shallow. I can hear the water going into the filter. Oh. I can't get the whole bottle submerged, so it gives you an idea. That's probably all I'm going to get. How shallow it is. Uh, not a whole lot, a third of a bottle, but enough for this demonstration. All right. Now it takes a second to draw up. Be careful when you're handling the top of the water bottle, especially around the bite piece. If your hands have been in the water, you don't want to introduce pathogens to the bite piece, obviously. So. I can see a few floaties that made it through the bandana, but you know, that water just tastes like pure spring water to me. So while it may not be my first choice in water sources, this filter certainly gives me the confidence of drinking from it. But I am gonna look for something else to draw some water from anyway, just a little bit cleaner looking at least. All right, let's carry on. So as mentioned earlier, there are two ways that you can use the Sagan Xtreme. I've got it set up in direct draw mode. In a minute, I'll show you how to use it with the pump mode. But with the direct draw mode, I get four feet of extension that allows me to drop the filter in the water as I sit here on the rock, rather than try to lay down in the swampy moss here to get my face close to it with the straw. So. It takes a second to get the initial draw in through the filter and up to your mouth because it is four feet. Uh, the filter or the mouthpiece does have a lock on it that you push in to lock and out to unlock. And the advantage of that, of course, is that uh, if you want to draw up on the water, you want to keep water in the tube, just lock it between uh, taking sips out of it. Otherwise, you're, the water is going to float back down. Now, the filter, as I mentioned, when I first got it, I was concerned that the filter wasn't dropping far enough into the water, it was just kind of floating on the surface. But what happens as you draw through it, it gains a little weight and it sinks in. And not, not deep, just below the surface, but at least all the import vents on the filter are submerged. And that keeps it away from the bottom silt, which is great. Yeah, it works great. All right. Let's set it up for pump. So it's just as easy, universal connecting pieces. 
connect on. Now this time I'm going to put some water in my zebra billy pot so that I can make some coffee with it. Now, I, you know, normally I wouldn't have to do this. I'd just boil the water, but I just want to do this for demonstration purposes. Filter goes in. Takes a second. I'll give you some close-ups best I can of this in operation. Each squeeze of the hand pump, I don't know, three or four tablespoons maybe? Not a lot, maybe three tablespoons at the most. So it does take a while to get all the water you want. This is not a passive filtration system. It's active, you have to pump it to get all the water out of it. It can get a little tiring, I'll admit. In fact, that's probably one of the cons for the system. You know, you get a nice squeeze of water, but uh, not a lot of it. So it takes a lot of pumping to get the water where you want it to go. I'm looking for three cups of water here to make some coffee with. I suppose if I measured the time against the, a pump, it'd be interesting to see. The pump would be less tiring on the hand, mind you. What if I got? I got three cups of water. Maybe one more squeeze. All right, let me see if I can set up and give you a couple of close ups of how this works. You can see the filter just drops right into the water. The, you know, the more you, uh, or the longer you release the grip on the hand pump, the more water you're going to get for each squeeze. So it works well. This is in some pretty, uh, well, I wouldn't drink it direct, let's put it that way. Okay, that's good. All right, let's do some pro and cons for the two items. So I like the water bottle. Uh, the shape of it makes it easy to carry. Um, I wish that it had a little bit greater volume, so that's why I looked at the option of being able to use this with a Nalgene. Um, there's not a lot to say about a water bottle. It's a basic water bottle. It's very sturdy. It operates the way it, it's supposed to. I did find that drawing water through the straw to be a little bit of work more than you would uh, you might expect. And I don't know that it's unique to this water bottle, but I think it's because the filter is designed, you're going to work a little bit to draw water up through it. I guess I do like the fact that I can hide the top of it away. It's not something most of my water bottles have, so it's it didn't take any getting used to. It was just a little different, I guess. So, uh, you know, maybe a different color. I'm not fond of the blue color, but you know, I guess, what's, what difference does that make? And if you're interested, of course, these do come in pink if you find that that's a more appealing color. Uh, so just the two. Um, it's a good water bottle, and the fact that it comes with that filter system makes it even better. Now, I don't use filtered water bottles very often for a couple of reasons. Um, I like to be able to filter my water into the water bottle rather than use the water bottle as the filter itself, unless I'm out on just a relatively short hike. And the reason I prefer to do that is because there are times that I actually want to mix something up in the water bottle, uh, like electrolytes so if, or uh, any other sports drink that you might want to use from a powder. Uh, you can't do that if you're depending on the filter to filter your water out because you can't mix the electrolytes in and then draw them through a filter because the filter is going to remove them from the water. Water. So uh, that's the only reason why I wouldn't carry this more often. But again, as I mentioned, for shorter hikes, it's a great bottle to have, especially if you didn't think you were going to need to be filtering water and you weren't planning on mixing electrolytes up, then sure, this may, this operates just fine. I think it's a great travel water bottle as well. So you're traveling internationally or anywhere that you are a little suspect about the water, then why not take this? Because you can use it just the way it is as a water bottle or put the filter in if you're not sure about the source of the water. Okay, the other system, of course, is the Xtream. Now, there's a couple thoughts on the Xtream, and what I wanted to share was is, um, 
from my experience so far is I while I found the straw and be able to use in that four feet of hose to draw water directly from a water source as convenient that's not something I'm going to use a lot the chances of my using that are likely when I'm out in a canoe or a kayak and I want to draw water directly as opposed to having to filter it into something else first so it there is benefit to it but it's not something I'll carry very often what I will carry however is the hand pump and filter system because that's the way I like to filter water and I like the fact that there is some length to it so I don't have to work hard to get down next to the water to do the filtering that I can drop that four feet of length into the water and have it filter into whatever vessel be it a water bottle a pot or well as as I uh, demonstrate in the video you can actually squeeze water off and maybe use it for washing your hands or rinsing off vegetables or anything else maybe you've washed your dishes and you just want to rinse them off with some clean water now it works really well for that, so I, f I find that it's a good system for doing that. The con for me, however, though, is the bulk of the item. It just seems to be awkward with that long a hose. That hose is the advantage that it has over other systems, but it's also the disadvantage in that it's hard to pack. So what I've come up with, and this is something I'd recommend you considering, is storing it in, well, this would be a four liter or one gallon size Ziploc bag. So what I've got in here is just the hand pump and the filter itself. And the reason I'm carrying it in this bag, well, a couple of reasons, one, to keep it all in one place but the other is to keep the items the rest of the items in my backpack dry um, this doesn't hold a lot of water after you're finished using it most of it will drain away very quickly I've actually found whipping it in the air a little bit carefully of course will take most of the water out of the system but it does leak a little bit and there's always some water in the tubing that's likely to leak out so having it in a bag not only keeps it all in one place but place but it also keeps items the rest of the items in your bag from uh, getting wet so so, yeah, so that would be both the only con in using this system. It's not the wake, it's not the weight or how well it works. It's just the bulk and the awkwardness of those hoses. Okay, uh, those are my pros and cons. Overall, I think that this system is really good for someone who just has to have the protection that these filters offer. Now, I'm calling them filters, but in the literature, they call them purifiers because a filter is not guaranteed to remove all the things that a purifier is. These are, in fact, purification systems and not just filters. Okay, so I'm going to leave it open to you. If you have any thoughts on this systems or any questions on this system, then please put them in the comment section below. And as I mentioned in a minute ago, I'm not aware of any other system like this on the market that actually guarantees through independent research that the product will do exactly what it, it's claimed to do. Okay, if you have any questions as I mentioned, put them in the comments section below. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.